We just got home from grocery shopping and it made us think about the things that we will miss about Germany. If you haven't seen the video from last week, check out the link up here where you can see what we miss about the US already. But first, we need to unpack. We have ice creams and things that need to be refrigerated. One of the major things we're gonna miss about Germany is all the bread. The bakeries have fresh bread every day. There's so many options. There's this bread, and there's this bread. There's this one. There's that one. And my favorite, chocolate croissants. I prefer them when they're like crescent shaped, but these are still pretty good. Mm. Cute little rolls. These are my personal favorite. They're called Laugenschangen. Um, they're basically pretzel sticks. They're absolutely delicious. And they're always so fluffy on the inside. Your favorite. Oh. These are also delicious. You can get them in America. They're just like, we call them like donut holes, maybe. But um, they're much bigger here, and they're very, very delicious. And they're covered in sugar, and they're so soft. Mm. Look at that yumminess. Yeah. These ones are also made with quark, which is a special kind of yogurt. It's, I don't really know how it's different from yogurt, but it is. I can't explain it. It's so like coffee. And I have coffee. This is the best morning. Mm -hmm. This is like a pillow. I just have coffee. There's a girl for my face. As we talked about in our last video, we really love the dried fruit here. Um, however, you don't get it in such big quantities, but still I love it because in the US, dried fruit is primarily sugared, and I find that dried fruit is sweet enough without its sugar. So that's why I love German's dried fruit, Germany's dried fruit, because there's no sugar added most of the time. So we'll just get right to it. Pretzels and beer. Beer is the other major thing in Germany, you hear all about it. I absolutely love the beer in Germany. Especially the, um, so this is like white beer, uh, Weiss beer. It's predominantly comes from the southern part of Germany. And me and Ellie, when we went to Garmerspark in Kirchen, um, I got to have like, it's straight from, I guess you could say the tap there. And that was so delicious. So now I always get just like southern fire white beer when we go shopping. It's super delicious. This one needs to go in the freezer. We are definitely going to miss Mervyn Picks ice cream. This is the best ice cream I've ever had in my entire life. The brand just is so good. It's creamy and it tastes natural and it doesn't taste like there's a lot of fillers in it. It's just really delicious. It's also soft and creamy. It's just it's not like rock hard like some of the ice creams you have in the States are. It's just so good. This company needs to branch out to the U.S. after seeing it. Another thing we really like is the smoked meats they have. One of my favorites is smoked lox. It comes in these little thin shaved slices. But this week we got Bauernschinken, which is basically like 
bacon, like a sort of like a, yeah. It's basically like smoked bacon. Um, I'll show you. It comes in these super thin slices, but it tastes so good. Sometimes it's better than just like the cooked meats. It just has a different flavor, like a more natural flavor. These are my personal favorite. These are Milka chocolate bars. They're, I don't even know. They're like the premier, one of the premier like chocolate brands without being like the expensive chocolate, you know? They have all different types of flavors. So this is my favorite. It's called Cow Flakes. It's got both white and normal milk chocolate. And I really like the, uh, like the mixture of it. I don't like just plain white chocolate. And I don't always, I don't even like the plain milk chocolate from Milka as much as I like the mix together. These are delicious. I used to eat one of these on the way to work and another one on the way home every day. Two? Yes. You only told me you had breakfast. If you ever come to Germany, you need to have these. When we go back to the US, I'm gonna find a way to ship these to myself because I will never eat Hershey's ever again. I think I mentioned this in last week's video, sparkling water. Sparkling water is just different. It's like soda, and so some people are used to soda, but they find that since there's no flavoring ingredients in here that this tastes weird, but I just like it. Like, especially when I have an upset stomach, it's like soda water, but without all of the sugar, and it doesn't leave like the flemmies in my throat when I drink sugar. It's just so good. Not that you can't get it in the U.S., but it's usually more expensive. Or here, it's actually like so typical. It's usually cheaper to get like, it. This was 19 cents. This is something that Ella used to tell me all about when she would come back to the U.S. from her German trips, and it's called muesli. It's basically granola. They come in all different kinds. This is my favorite right now. It's from Kellogg's, so a little bit of American company in there. It's got chocolate and like hazelnuts, which I'm finding I really, really like. This is was my favorite before. This one is basically the same thing, and this is Ellie's favorite. It's just like plain with reduced sugar. But they have all kinds. You can get dried fruits in them, and I love, love, love to mix these in to make fruit parfaits. I could eat a parfait for a meal. But there's one thing that makes mueslis different. So like, these ones are not really crunchy. It's just like dried oats, um, rolled oats. And these ones, my favorite ones are the crunchy ones. We have a little bit of the crunch to your bite because it's just satisfying. So yes, yeah, so there's two different ways you can get it. is something that is also special to Germany. It's called Müller milk. Um, they have a bunch of different flavors, whereas in the US you can typically only get chocolate or strawberry, sometimes banana, yeah, and vanilla. vanilla. But this brand has a bunch of different flavors. Lucas got the vanilla flavor, and I have pistachio. And they'll have like a seasonal one, like right now they have a cinnamon one. Um, sometimes they'll have like chocolate toffee. I also saw a cookie dough. There's just a ton of flavors. And I just think they're interesting. Yeah, they are interesting. It's a little weird at first. We don't get them a lot, but they're a fun little like treat, something different to do every once in a while. Mine's Another thing that I'll miss about Germany is their binders. And I don't really like having the two rings. I like having the three rings that we have in the US because I feel like it keeps your papers from like 
falling through. But I, what I really like about these binders is that they have a little hook system. So this will like push your papers down so they don't fall all over the place, which you don't have in your US notebooks. And then this is the little hook that you can use to like get out your pieces of paper. That one's kind of a pain because you can only take them out from one side, but I love this. I should steal those. So this was our video today about the German products that we will miss when we go back to the US. We hope that you enjoyed this video. We'd love it if you'd somehow engage with us. We're trying to make it to 2,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so throw us a like, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a comment, whatever you like. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Look at the big hole! Mm. Gabby, you're not eating my donut. Mm. Um, okay. Oh, my chocolate bar. <laughs> no hate on Hershey's. I, I just found them better. I think I mustn't. I mustn't. It just has a different. It's not even like a different taste. It's like a different texture. It's just a different... Different texture. Yeah. It's bubbly instead of flat. Yeah, it's just different.